Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode we're going to be going over how to create your own custom tools in Minecraft 1.13. So let's get started. First things first, make sure you've updated your mod. I showed you how to update that in the last video. So go check that video out on how to update your mod. You should now be able to run your mod using the run button up here in Eclipse. So firstly we're going to go into our item list and declare our five tools. So we're going to have a tutorial act, hoe, pickaxe, shovel, and sword. There are five tools declared in our item list. And we're going to create a new list called tool material list. But instead of being a normal class, we're going to create something called an enum. And this is going to implement I item tier. An item tier, it's what the tool material will be renamed to. So you can call this tool material list or item tier list, either one. I'm just used to it being a tool material as it has been that for all of modding for a while. Firstly, put a semicolon. Enums always require at least one entry. And since we, don't have an, we haven't created an entry yet, we just declare a semicolon to stop errors um, happening. And we then need to create a um, constructor. So control space and do tool material list. In here we're going to have lots of parameters um, for our tool material. So firstly float attack damage. This is just how much ta attack damage your tool material will do. But as I said your axe and your pickaxe and so on can do less than your sword. You just modify them when we're declaring the item itself. Efficiency is a parameter that's used and it means it's basically mining speed. The higher the efficiency, the quicker your pickaxe and shovel and things like that will mine. Again, this can be modified in the item class itself. Durability, this is an integer and it represents how many uses your tools can do. Um, so a durability of a thousand means that a pickaxe can mine a thousand blocks or an axe can chop down a thousand um, blocks of wood and so on. Int harvest level refers to the um, ores and things that your, pick, your tools can mine and can't mine, such as a stone pickaxe in normal Minecraft can't mine diamonds, and a stone pickaxe has a harvest level of one, but something that has a harvest level of two, like iron, can mine diamonds. And there's, so, there's certain blocks that can be mined at certain levels, so you input the harvest level that your tool material can do. Int enchantability. This is how enchantable your um, items are. Gold tools um, in Minecraft normally have a very high enchantability, which means they get better enchantments at lower levels. And things like diamond tools have quite a low enchantability, so require a higher, higher amount of levels to get um, good enchantments. And finally, the repair material. This is an item. Control shift over to import net.minecraft item to item. And it refers to the material that you can repair your tool with. So obviously to repair our tutorial tools, we'll use the tutorial item, which is an ingot. So now we're going to need to create private um, versions of them. We're going to need to create variables of these things. So just go through and create a variable for each of these um, parameters. So there we have created private versions of each of those. And then we are going to de declare that they're equal to each other. So this dot attack damage is equal to attack damage, so on and so forth. We declare all this so that now if you hover over tool material list and add un unimplemented methods, we have getter functions for all the things we just had. So basically this um, constructor 
we de declare this constructor up here, where we declare a tool material, it takes in all those parameters, sets these variables equal to those parameters, and then it tells all of these getter functions um, what those variables are. So then when it looks for a tool material on a tool, it will look through these functions and find out all the properties. So get attack damage, just return um, this dot attack damage, and so on and so forth. For the repair material, you're going to want to return ingredient dot from items um, repair material. So this will create an ingredient from your repair material that is used to repair your item. So now we've got the enum created, you can declare as many tool materials as you want. So firstly give your tool material a name. So tutorial is going to be my name. Then open brackets and then you want to put the values for each of these things. So attack damage, I'm going to put 10.0f. For efficiency, I'm going to put 9.0F. Durability, I'm going to put 800. Harvest level, I'm going to put 3. Enchantability, I'm going to put 25. And repair material, I'm going to do item list dot tutorial underscore item. And that is your um, tool material created. These values, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how all these values scaled. You'll have to do your own testing to figure out how much attack damage is equal to how much amount of um, input there. And then you can figure out what you want for your items. So now we've created the tool material. You can go, if you wanted to create another one, you would just put a comma and create another one. Just like that. And now we have two tool materials. But I'm just gonna have one for now. Now we've created um, the tool material. We can go into our main class and register our items. So item list dot tutorial axe is equal to a new item axe. It wants to take in an item tier, so you can do tool material list dot tutorial. Then the next value um, is a float, and it refers to how much additional attack damage um, this particular tool will do. For all tools apart from the sword, you probably want a negative value here. So I'm just gonna put negative 1.0f, which refers to, um, I want one less attack damage on the ax than I do on the sword, or one less of whatever this value equates to. Then another float, this is the attack speed. I'm gonna put 6.0f. Again, you can mess around with this and figure out which is um, relevant to you. And then the rest of it um, is gonna be the same as above with the item. New item dot properties dot group tutorial dot set registry name location Tutorial underscore um, axe, and you can end it off there. For some reason, this um, constructor isn't visible. The easiest way to get around this is to create a um, new package called items and create your own um, item custom axe. Just have it extend item axe. Add the constructor, change it to public. And I guess you can rename this here um, to attack damage. And then you can just leave it there. 
All we've done is created a copy of item axe, but made it public so that we can use it. So rename this to item custom axe. Control shift over to import that, and then everything should be fine. So once you've created that thing for custom axe, we also need to create it for custom pickaxe. So copy and paste that, change it to custom pickaxe. Delete the constructor there. Import extend item pickaxe. Control shift over to import. Add the constructor. Change it to public. And give that a save. But for all the other tools, their constructors are public. I don't know why. Um, it might just be Forge working through and these may become public in the future. But you can now do use the same method um, for all the tools um, to create their own items. So item list dot tutorial ho is equal to a new item ho. It wants the item tier. Tool material list dot tutorial. It also wants the attack speed. I'm going to put 6.0f for all of them. And it wants um, the properties. So you can just copy the properties to the other one, but just change it to tutorial ho. Make sure you put a comma on the end. Ho actually doesn't take in attack damage value because all hoes are automatically set to one damage. Um, but all the others will be the, exactly the same as tutorial axe. For the pickaxe, it, only, it takes in an integer for the value of attack damage. I'm not sure why that is. Just make sure you don't have the 0.0f on there and just leave it as negative one. I'm actually going to change this to negative two for the pickaxe as pickaxes are a bit weaker than the axe, I would say. Um, but obviously, again, these values are arbitrary and up to you. You can choose these values yourself. Shovel is under item spade. For a sword, I'm just going to put zero as we want the sword to have the correct damage value that we use in our tool material. But that is all of our tools created um, and declared inside our register items. We're going to need to add them to our lang, which you can do quite easily. It works the exact same as items, just like that, all of them declared. And then for the models, we're going to look inside of reference libraries, client extra, assets, Minecraft, um, and then models, item, and find the iron axe. As you can see here, it's the same as a normal item, apart from it uses item handheld, which is the model for tools. It just shows the way that the player's holding it. So you can copy the tutorial items model and change it to one of your tools. You're obviously going to want to change the name here, but change from item generated to item handheld. And then do the same thing for all of your tools. There we go, I've created the models for all of my tools. You then just need the textures, which I'm going to do the same thing as I normally do. Open up paint.net, open up the default textures, inside of textures items, and find a pickaxe. Usually the iron one is what I choose. I will then get the pencil tool, get the orange overlay, and go over all this stuff here. And there we go, I've created my copper pickaxe. Then I'm going to save as, and save it inside of my code. Inside of assets, tutorial mod, textures, item, and call it tutorial pickaxe. PNG. And then going to do the same thing for my four other tools. So I now have textures for my five tools, and they should now be declared in the game. So if we run um, tutorial mod using the run button in Eclipse, I don't see any errors in my console, so they should be working. If you updated your mod, you might lose the world you were in, um, so you might have to create a new one there. So inside of my creative tab, we now have all my tools. And as you can see, they have 10 attack damage, 1 attack damage, 9 attack damage, 8 attack damage, and 11 attack damage. Obviously, you can change these things, these values, to suit your things. Obviously, mine's like kind of like copper, 
and I don't think copper would be this strong compared to like this is stronger than a diamond sword which is obviously inaccurate so when you're creating your tools you can change those values around but now we have a full set of tools in the game and next episode I'll be showing you how to create a full set of armor for yourself as well so if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like down below and subscribe for more tutorials thanks for watching my name's been Harry and goodbye